Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So let's continue with our project. Now I had a comment uh, saying I should go through the code because uh, it's been so long. Some of you have forgotten what some of this code does and I understand that. Uh, the problem is big projects like this take time to do and sometimes I may not get enough free time to actually make videos. So this is why it takes so long. So what I would advise is at the end of the course, if you have enough time, since all the videos will be available at that time, just go back to the beginning and start afresh and watch them in sequence. I think that will help you refresh what's going on because even if I were to go through the code right now, it would take a whole video just doing that. So um, unfortunately, this is the thing we have to deal with with uh, long courses. This is why I may stop doing these very long courses. I'll just start doing those uh, one video courses um, to s so that you don't forget what we are doing. It's just unfortunate that those, those one video courses, uh, they miss out a lot because we have to cut a lot of things out. And this is why these long uh, videos are here. That's why I make these videos. So the, the, uh, the aim of this project is not really to create something that's working that you can use eventually. No, it's just so you can learn so many techniques in one course. That's, that's the idea. Okay, with that said, uh, now that we have sections and we can add sections as we please here, I want us to be able to add lectures here because that's really the meat of the matter. So once we can add lectures, it means we are pretty much done with editing courses. Then we can make the, uh, the view page where somebody can actually view a course. Then we can proceed to the uh, course application and all that. Okay, so in order to have this, I'll need a different table for the lectures. So we're just going to call it lecture. So if we go to our table here, courses meta, we need to match um, each item here using the UID, which is always the same. So we use that UID um, and it has to say curriculum. So it has to be curriculum with a UID and then we match that with an item in another table which we are going to call lectures. So this one is courses meta but let's create another table called courses lectures. Now in courses lectures like a lecture which is right here right so I better put these boxes like this I think they help to encapsulate what's going on so here we're going to have a box that will contain other things inside here, the lectures themselves. So for the lecture, uh, for now, we're just going to be adding videos. So if I click on edit content, ah, okay. So that's what it does. If it's an article there, okay, I'll close that. Okay, so you can either add an article or you can add a um, a video but for now we're just going to do videos uh, just to speed things up because we've taken too long uh, on this project so the more things I add uh, the longer it's going to be so we're going to add a title a description and a video that's what we need so let's go here and create a new table in there so we're just going to call this one courses um, lectures I hope that's the spelling for lectures there. So ID and um, then we're going to have a title. I think let's put the UID first and then we'll have a title and a description and then the file itself. So let's go here and say the file. Okay, so that's the file. I would have liked to add resources, but uh, that requires another table, more complexity. So we are not really making this thing to start using it in real life. So just for the techniques. The techniques we are using here to add the lectures are exactly the same as what we are using to add the sections. So most of it is repeat. 
so here id uid title description good so let's leave these as they are let me just go back here to courses meta and see what structure the uid has uid is big int so let's follow that big int title variable character same as description same as file here we'll be saving the file path so 1024 same with the description maybe 1024 or if you're going to put a very large description or you expect that you can put uh, text instead so you don't have to specify a limit but let's try 2048 title can just be 100 characters the rest are good auto increment for the id and let's hit save all righty then uid needs an index i guess uh, that's about it mm -hmm. that's about it so title description and the file name cool so with this we can now match whatever we have here with courses meta now before we can do anything of course we need to be able to just click and add an item here the same way we are doing with these guys here so we just have to copy this system and put it where we want so if we go to our views file here and go to the um, courses view that's what i'm looking for admin courses view so the same thing we have with curriculum now we can just copy the object to a different name so this one is curriculum yes i'll just grab the whole script tag thingy as well Control shift d to duplicate and instead of having curriculum here i'm going to have um, lecture okay so i'll Control d to select every instance of curriculum here and just change it to suit what we have now we'll sort things out a bit later okay lecturer i hope that's correct as well same thing here Alrighty then so we have a lecture object there now for now mm. okay so when we add a new one here that's what we will get but let's go to we need a button first of all the other button just like we are adding this section here we need a button to add a new whenever we add this we need a button on it to add a lecture so i'm going to go to where the course tab information is and just like we have this button here right at the end there is this grab this button and let's see there's an error here error message this is the box itself so let me paste here okay let's see how that works ah there we go so it's not repeated on these guys so that's a shame we need it repeated okay so it's not we're not supposed to add it here because this is where that information is added so what i'll do is cut this out let me go to the courses view page and let's get back to the curriculum where we add items so this is the design of the items we are adding and within this design we need a button for 
every one item we add there, we should have this button. So refresh, and there we go. So add section. Now instead of add section, this one will be add lecture, of course. And let's fix a few things. So this one go to curriculum.add new. This one will be lecture.add new. So let me change sections of this to lecture. So we'll see lecture just for that button. And let's put a very specific width. So we have classes here, but let's add um, a style, shall we? And just say width 100 pixels. Okay, cool. Maybe 100 too little. Let's add 250 or 150, sorry. All right, so add section, add lecture. Let's try 130. Okay, there we go. So add lecture here should do something. Once we click, should add a section down here. Now, also what I want is a border around my, this part here, this section here. So what I want is a div that holds everything together, including the button. So let me just do this. Add a div. And then let's put a class name and say border. Okay, so it does encompass what I want but unfortunately it destroys this other thing here. So let's see why that got destroyed. Let me move this content inward. Okay, so I'm guessing because the parent of this is what has this. Okay, so let me grab uh, Let me copy that one and put it here. Okay, so that didn't change anything. Hmm. Let me try row here. Oh, I think the problem is this has added more, more strain on these guys, I guess. Oh, that actually worked. That actually worked. Okay, so while we are at it, let's add a bit of padding. Let me zoom in so you can see better. Alrighty then. Then let's put BG light, just so it's slightly different from the rest of the environment. At least we can see this one is brown like this, which shows that this is one system there. So that's one and that's two, maybe even shadow. Just so it's more vivid what's going on. So this is one section, section two, and then now we can add a lecture. So add lecture. Once I click here, it should add things that are children of this part right there. Okay. These guys here, 
I don't know if justify content can work at all or align item center where are their classes right here so let me try align items center okay that doesn't seem to work Let's try deflex here, Dis display flex. Okay, so that does help. So let me grab this. When you flex and align item to the center, it does seem to help. So let me grab this one as well and this one, paste. Okay, there we go. At least they're in the center here. And also let's add justify content center. This should center them in the center as well. Or we can just use text center. Is it already, already there? It's already there. It's already here and there. So why isn't it working? Eh not a big deal for now okay cool so now we just need to be able to click and then add a new item here